I think just so to add to that, I mean, there's, I, I think, a consistent theme across everyone here around transparency. And, you know, when we think about the lack, you, you, at, you, you mentioned around people, at, the driver asking, hey, what, what is the price right now? It's like, that is an interesting component because a lot of times you do see, and we see in the data that, you know, we see rides where there's a 15% take rate. We see rides where there's an 80% take rate uh, from the platform. And so there's a wide spectrum of that. And you're not seeing a, a even distribution of going back to the driver on pay that exists there. But I do think that as you look at the innovative models, there's, you know, companies like, I, I think one that's been most interesting to me on a global scale is InDrive that really has implemented at scale successfully and profitably a free marketplace model that is similar to the rest of the gig economy. As you look at an Airbnb, an Airbnb is a host. You have a host who has a, a property and they say, here's the price and you decide whether to pay it or not. So they actually have that same type of model where you can actually, the, the ride will come in, the ride request, but the driver, they're saying, hey, the rider's like, I'm willing to pay within this band. And then you have a lot of drivers who just bid on it in real time, which sounds inefficient relative to what we're used to today. But through seeing it live, it actually works pretty instantaneously. So you have a free market model where the market decides what the price is rather than the platform itself.